These are still $9.12 for the cotton candy grapes. Someone said I should buy them, but I'm not going to spend $9 on them. They have to come down in price for me. Tomatoes still seem to be expensive, $4.48, but you get but you get three pounds of the tomatoes on the vine. It doesn't seem like very much for $4.50 now, does it? Or an explosion of flavor, it says. An ex explosion in price, $7.48. Holy cow! Now, I went through my chicken legs already, believe it or not. I like them with the yellow rice, and I'm going to buy another package July 21st. Still, 98 cents a pound for chicken legs. Chicken drumsticks, you cannot beat this price. And it's, they're really good. I love it with the yellow rice, and just can't beat it in the, in the chicken wings. Still $1.98 a pound here, and they have a ton of them. Well, today is Friday. We're at Sam's Club, and uh, we're going to go in and do some shopping. You know, uh, my last few videos was, uh, they were touring uh, Naples and the stores and, and the city. I really love that. I hope you enjoyed the videos, but uh, we're going to check some prices now. I heard the Consumer Price Index came out and said that uh, inflation is dropping. So <laughs> we're going to go in, check prices. Let's have some fun. Now, this is one neat item that I like, insulated shopper bag. And I use these all the time. These are really neat. I think this is a really good bargain. And these, these used to be $5.96, but now, now they're $8.96. I even take them when I, when I go fishing, and uh, they make a really cheap uh, uh, fish bag. A lot of people spend a lot of money on fish bag. i got to get one of these guys open. And they're, they're insulated in here. Let me open one of these guys. See that? That plastic right there? And I have two of these. They've lasted several years, but they really hold a lot. And, and I take uh, two of these when I go fishing. I used to use them for a fish bag in my boat and my kayak, but now I just use them for my gear and it keeps them waterproof. But $8.96, these are, these are great bags. I really like them. Now, I just saw this cooler, and it looks like a four-wheel drive truck with the tires. Look at that. These must be off-road tires. And um, really nice cooler. And I'm sure it's, look at heavy duty. And I bet the lid's insulated, but it's $149. <laughs> I mean, with $20 off it looks like, but still $149 for this thing. That seems a little pricey for a bunch of plastic. My gosh. Oh, I see something. I always find crazy stuff here. And look at this. Fake sod at 7 feet by 8 feet, and it's $152. It's, this is just plastic stuff right here. Made in Vietnam, it's upside down, but I mean it's just plastic, but at $152, it's seven foot by eight. That's a little pricey, don't you think? My gosh. Oh, here's some more of these, uh, the pool supplies. I couldn't help but notice them. They're right by the uh, great artificial grass. $229 for 50 pounds. Everybody has a pool here in Florida, and they really charge a lot for this stuff. And the hotter the temperature, 95 degrees out, the more of the chlorinating tablets it uses. Look at this. $199. Here's an algae side because you always get algae in the pools. $49. And look at this stuff. It's a really shocking price. Quick dissolving shock. When your pool gets too much algae in it, you drop one of these in there and you can use you have to use these all the time. 24 of $129. <laughs> it's just crazy. And look at what they charge for a pool cleaning kit. This is all you get. That's all you get just for getting leaves out of your pool. And by the way, uh, the cost of a pool here in Florida, it's insane. To have a pool put in in a house is around 50, 60 grand. Holy smolies. I mean, just coming into Sam's Club here, you're just overwhelmed with what kind of snack do I do I want today? Do I want ding-dongs? Do I want the waffle wafers to go? $5.98, not too bad, right? <laughs> and what else do you want? Moon pies, fruity snacks. A foot by the foot. Oh, a strawberry tie dye by the foot. Sixteen dollars. Wow. <laughs> I mean, they have everything here. Danish. Look at the look at these uh, little. Uh, they, they're not little debbies, but they're called little bites. But the big, the, but they're big prices. <laughs> but what I really came here for. Oh, look at this Pepperidge Farm. Pepperidge Farm is always some good stuff. I love these cookies though. The Milano's dark chocolate. You got to dip them in milk though. It's got to be cold. But I came here for the veggie straws, and I can see the price from behind. Seven forty-eight for one of these, and I know I hate to spend a lot of money on these, but I, but I miss it. You can see the bag; it's only two-thirds full. But I want to get one of these bags, and they're only twenty-five, twenty-three ounces, or not even twenty-five. <laughs> but I'm going to get a bag because I miss them. 
30% less fat. <laughs> but that's the price of the bags. Now, look at this. This is what people do with this stuff. They just throw stuff in here and break these all up. So there you go, guys. Stay there, but $7.48. They used to be about $5.50. Not anymore. And I'm down the cereal aisle again. The Frosted Flakes, $8.28. See, they're holding the price. They, uh, The Consumer Index uh, price index said it came down, but the Lucky Charms, magically delicious, $8.22. Fruity Pebbles, it's all staying the same. All of this is the same, $8.86 for this. Crunch Berries has been the same, $5.92. Reese's Puffs, $6.46. What is this? Icy Cereal, $5.98, $2 off. Oh, I, I don't think this is selling. Nobody wants any of it. Look at that. And Special K, that's not changed, $8.98. Raisin Bran, that's not, not, nothing has changed here. Not a single price has changed. Nothing at all. Look at the Honey Nut Cheerios, eight twenty-two for this. That's ridiculous. And right here, just your regular Cheerios, six eighty-eight. But this is still cheaper than you're going to find it at any supermarket. Okay, what I came here for? Not the Prego, not the Ragu, but more Rayos, and it hasn't changed in price. But my wife and I, we went through our two jars already. I really like this stuff. The Rayos, it's a twenty-two ounce. Uh, a jar and they sell the 28 ounce at uh, Costco for $12.99 but it's still the same per ounce which is 22.7 cents per ounce it's still the same and this is fantastic uh, and I'm gonna get some ravioli the refrigerated kind but I really love this stuff I tell you I really love this rails I hope I don't drop it I'm holding it with one finger <laughs> and now why do they do this it's eight fifty. It's regular eight ninety eight. Save forty six cents. It's eight fifty two. I, I mean, Burl is still good. Uh, it's usually about two dollars for this at Walmart, but eight fifty two. They're knocking forty six cents off these, and and they're calling it new lower price. I mean, is that that what's that that is that what it's coming to now? I can't even talk. Forty six cents savings on here, and this is what I like. My favorite is panini, but but this is and half the boxes are crushed like this, but. 852 it's not bad it's barilla but uh, you're only saving 46 cents and they call it a lower price now these these kind of mini bars they're two dollars off they're 598 these are really delicious if you've never if you've never tried them but this is only 22 ounces for these you get 32 of these are great for traveling but 1598 and it's a little over a pound it's kind of crazy but that's the price of snacks and look at the cliff bars 23.98 and you get 24 of these 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 are a better value because you get look at this you get almost uh geez 57 ounces in here this is a this is a better bargain and i think they're better than getting the kind minis because the only thing that isn't mini is the price <laughs> oh no on the way back i'm gonna get one of these because i went through the whole package already along with the uh, more tillamook 11 dollars and 38 cents these are my favorite and, and I tell you what, these are these are just fantastic. I know I, I show these probably three. I've shown them three or four times already, but I just love these guys. But I'm going to keep it here and uh, keep one here. I'll pick it up just before I go. But these are fantastic. Tyson chicken nuggets, five pounds, thirteen ninety eight. I love these guys. I'm going to get another bag because I already went through them. But you get five pounds of these chicken nuggets like this, no antibiotics, and these are just fantastic for thirteen ninety eight. $13.98. These are just delicious. I know a lot of people say they're processed, but they're fantastic. I love these guys. Let's put these guys right in there with the rails. I tell you what, it's packed in here today on a Friday. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, my wife told me to get some foil, so I don't see it on sale. And I'm gonna wait until it goes on sale. But $19.78. Sometimes they get it four to five dollars off on this. 500 square feet so I'm gonna hold off and wait on that I'm waiting for a bargain I still have a little bit left she said if it's on sale buy it but it's not because some of the stuff is what $11.99 for one of these just in Target alone and it's only 200 square feet so this is still a bargain but I'm waiting for the sale oh I want to get some water someone told me Zephyr Hills water is no good but I've been drinking it for years well maybe that's what's wrong with me but seven 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 seventy eight for this and I usually buy this seven ninety eight I remember I used to get this for three ninety eight not anymore my gosh and um, I have to grab one of these 
And my wife likes, there's purified water. Look at this purified water, $8.98 for that. $6.56 for this. I'll probably get a package of that. Uh, and my wife, not Aquafina, she likes this Pure Life 544. All this water has almost doubled in price. It's just ridiculous. And it's, this is spring water, that's what they say. And this is all filtered water here. Everything there is just all filtered water. But I like the Zephyr Hills. Now I need to get some bath tissue as well. And this is what I get is the 2298 members mark right here. And this lasts a long time. Look at this. 45 large rolls for 22 2298. Try getting that at a regular regular supermarket. That's the better bargain here. Oh, I also need to get some paper towels, my wife. I, I'm on a, what do they call those trips in your, your wife uh, to-do list here? She said grab a thing of towels. Just grab one anyway. So I have to grab one of these, 1998. Look how, look how many, look how many you get here. Look at the size of the towels here. Look at all these guys. 1998. This is one of the best bargains around. Oh, I hear a horn beeping at me. Come on, guy. Now, I went through my chicken legs already, believe it or not. I like them with the yellow rice, and I'm going to buy another package July 21st. Still, 98 cents a pound for chicken legs. Chicken drumsticks, you cannot beat this price, and it's, they're really good. I love it with the yellow rice, and just can't beat it in the, in the chicken wings. Still $1.98 a pound here, and they have a ton of them. Now, this is what I got last time. Spinach cheese ravioli, $8.48 for this. And I'm going to get another one of these guys, and they go good with the rails. There's two pounds, six ounces for $8.48. These are just delicious. Oh, my gosh. And the rails, I love that stuff. So I'm going to get these guys $8.48. So I'm stocking up today. Look at the, look at the shopping haul already. <laughs> it looks like the watermelons, $6.98 for just one of these guys. They've gone up in price. I think these are mismarked. It's these guys that are $6.98 right here, but my gosh, it's in Florida. I've seen them on the side of the road for $5, but I guess when you buy them retail, they're $6.98. Now this is a neat gizmo here. This thing is self-guided, the floor cleaner. Look, at there's, there's nobody on it, and I have to stop and let it go by. Let's see if it'll, um, if I get in the way of it, if it'll stop. Look at it, see? Oh my gosh, <laughs> it wants to go around me. That's pretty neat, huh? Let's check some prices here. Oh, look at this. Green grapes are $5.97 now. $5.97, so they have come down in price. But what hasn't come down in price are the, the cotton candy grapes here. Someone said these were just delicious. But they're $9.12. These are still $9.12 for the cotton candy grapes. Someone said I should buy them, but I'm not going to spend $9 on them. They have to come down in price for me. What other things do they have? The black grapes are six. They're six thirty-five for the black grapes. Never tried those. The red grapes are seven. My wife wife likes these, but they're seven eighty-seven for these guys. What else do we have? Organic baby spinach is four forty-eight right here, and there's one pound of it. Just just a little garden salad bag is two seventy-two for two pounds and two heads of iceberg lettuce right here and look at it, it's a little brown two dollars and 98 cents that's the best you're going to find at a dollar fifty a head the romaine hearts are 398 and um, they're not bad i think this is a pretty good deal they used to be two dollars and 98 cents but you know that's inflation tomatoes still seem to be expensive 448 but you get but you get three pounds of the tomatoes on the vine doesn't seem like very much for four dollars and fifty cents now does it 448 for these guys and then the wild wild wonders is five they're 578 for these two pounds and for these tomatoes right here these look really delicious they're four four dollars and sixty eight cents for these for two pounds of these uh, camp Campari tomatoes kind of pricey and now I see some flavor bombs here an explosion of flavor it says an ex explosion in price seven dollars and 48 cents holy cow oh they still have the nectarines for 12.98 a package here looks like they've been buying them or they've been just uh, i don't know they're gone but 12.98 that's a hot selling item <laughs> papayas are 3.98 for for one of them 
nice papayas, but four dollars. And of course, Clorox bleach. That's not come down in price whatsoever. Uh, three of these, uh, uh, three times 121 ounces, eighteen dollars and forty-eight cents. They have not come down in price. So, and it's kind of a good gauge on inflation. It has not come down. I don't know why. Oh, I had to show you the gas cans again. It looks like they haven't sold any of these fifty-dollar gas cans. That's just crazy, isn't it? What? What? Who? Who would want to buy one of these for fifty dollars? Remember, they should be what fifteen dollars, right? My wife said she wanted a hummingbird feeder. Don't don't ask me why, but it's sixteen ninety eight, and um, there's a lot of hummingbirds in Florida, and um, I thought they were they were different than this, but I'm going to show her this one. I'll show her when she watches the video. But but sixteen ninety eight for a hummingbird feeder, and uh, what else they have? I saw something here which is which is crazy. Elevated garden bed, hundred nine dollars, and this is just this is just plastic. Just look at this, elevated look wood look elevated garden bed it's 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 just plastic stuff for a hundred and ten dollars and my wife said we should get a couple and i said no we shouldn't i mean it's ridiculous a hundred nine dollars there's no way i mean i just don't like planting anything in, in plastic like this i just like regular cedar or cypress with the dirt right on the ground instead of in the plastic because a lot of this stuff is recycled and you're going to grow your organic foods out of something that's plastic i i think that's that's wrong i wouldn't do it and here's something that always amused me is rubber mulch. $8.98. And, and this is nothing but tires that are all cut up. Retreads, not the stainless, uh, uh, the steel belted kind in there, but they're, but it's all cut up. And people put this on their lawn here, not, on, on the edging. But it's all rubber. I mean, it's not even natural. Can you imagine that? You talk about polluting the environment. And when it, when it uh, drains off and goes into the, uh, down into the, uh, the sewers, not the sewers, but the drainage, and it goes into the ponds. All this rubber is going into the ponds, and this rubber, it, it floats. <laughs> Just ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. And, you know, um, since we have an HOA, we don't fertilize our lawn, but I just saw this. Fertilizer, one bag is $78. 78 oh, it's got my name on it at Scott's. It's, it's got to be good, right? $78 for a bag. One bag of fertilizer for your lawn. And here's another one, Scott. It's got a bonus right there. $74 for this. Unbelievable the price of fertilizer. I remember we used to buy the six, eight, or whatever it was for our lawn, and it was under $10, but those days are gone. Just ridiculous. I find this kind of funny right here. Dr. Earth organic fertilizer here. You know, you know what organic means. This is nothing but poo. And it's 222, the lowest you can get vegetables and flowers. So it's organic, right? So the, stay with me here. Organic fertilizer. Here's some seed grass, right? Good stuff there. You can use that. Now all of a sudden you got ortho bug clear granules. So now you have poison right next to the seed grass in the organic fertilizer. Then over here you have ortho home defense and then a bug ball. So <laughs> it just goes kind of against the organic. Then the seed, then you have ortho right by there. <laughs> I just find that funny. It's crazy how they do stuff. Now here's Sam's. Let's see if we can find some affordable toys here. These look cool. $17.98. See this guy? Look at that. I, see, I would play with these if I was a kid. Something like this is okay. $17.98 and stuff like this. This is totally acceptable for a kid. Pull tab, pull to try me out. What does it do? Oops. <laughs> I guess not, but that's really good toy there. And toys like this, $16.98. See, stuff like this is affordable. I don't know about splatter guns, though. <laughs> $49. See, stuff like this, just affordable games like that, you know, toys for kids. I like stuff like that. Now we're starting to get into some expensive stuff. Oh, and here's a little scooter, electric scooter. $259. I see these all over the place now. My wife was looking at one and she said, I'd like to get one. I, it's good exercise. I said, hon, it's electric. <laughs> well, I'm waiting in line to get gas at Sam's. And, and, and usual, it, 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 it's a crowd right here. So uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have a, uh, a vanilla drumstick here. I bought the Nestle's. <laughs> I ran back and got him. I almost forgot the guy. So I'm going to enjoy this guy while I'm waiting. <laughs> there it is right there. And these are just delicious, these... Uh, 
this uh, wafered cone right here with the chocolate. It's dipped in chocolate, then the peanuts on the top, and the peanuts, they're really salty. And then inside this, I believe this has a little piece of fudge. I'm not sure, but you get three flavors here. And the, and the cone itself right here is coated with chocolate, and the bottom part of it, the bottom one-third, it's solid chocolate. So let's enjoy this guy. Oh, the peanuts are falling off. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I just love my ice cream. I finished my Tillamook before I came to the store. I said, I got to have this while I'm waiting, you know. So let's try it. Mmm. Oh, my gosh. Oh, the guy is telling me to pull forward yet. It um, uh, looks like the guy in front of me didn't um, didn't put any gas in. I don't know why. But anyways, um, I, we'll continue this later. Hang on. Oh, it's really good. Well, the peanuts are really salty. The uh, vanilla in there with the chocolate. This Nestle is really good stuff. Anyways, I got to pull forward. <laughs> well, I had to pull forward to get, <laughs> to get the gas, and then I put this in my cooler, and I had the ice pack, so I put it on the ice. But I really love these. Uh, these are Nestle's, and they, like I said, they give you three three flavors in these guys, and um, sometimes I can eat three or four in a row. <laughs> they give you 16 in a box for $11.38, but... Mm. The vanilla is really creamy. The chocolate is chocolate has a really good flavor to it, and the nuts, the nuts are delicious and they're salty, which I really like. And uh, once I get down to here, then I start chewing on the side of the cone, and it's coated with chocolate all the way down. I tell you, what a great snack! <laughs> I love these guys. I tell you what, it's really packed in uh, Sam's Club today. <laughs> Holy smoly, you know, it, it's just. I'm on the side of the store where the mattresses are, and uh, there's not anybody over here, but they're all over by the food. It's just jammed. Anyways, I, I picked up a lot of items, and I'll show you what I got. I, I felt I did a good uh, shopping haul here. Let's check them out. I got these Tyson Nuggets, and I really like these. Five pounds uh, with $13.98, the rails, the veggie straws, and of course I have my chicken. I got the water, and this right here with the rails. Now, this is... This is really good. This is a great combination right here. Holy smolies. I love this stuff. I don't know. Someone told me Rails was, uh, was good. I was always making fun of the price. It's still pricey, but it's really good. With this combination, you can't beat it. My gosh. <laughs> So anyways, I hope everybody enjoyed the the quick shopping uh, uh, haul today here at Sam's Club. It's jammed right there. There's going to be more this weekend, so don't worry about that. So give me a thumbs up for like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Scott with The Real Economy. We'll see you.